Hi guys, so today I thought I'd talk about the Firefly board. Uh, it has the RK3288 microprocessor. It's a ARM Cortex A17 quad core, clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. This board has two gigabytes of DDR3, and then it has 16 gigabytes of eMMC storage. It's, it's pretty loaded. The board has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. Came with the Android image, 4.2.2. I thought I'd show you what the performance is like. I've actually installed Netflix on, on the Android image and they have an APK installer. I uh, went flawless. I just downloaded it, put it on a, a USB stick and uh, plugged it right in and did the installation. It was pretty nice. Just to give you the rundown of the ports real quick, uh, it has USB 2.0 and then TF card slot for micro SD cards and then the OTG uh, USB so if you wanted to VNC or something into this board you could do that. And then um, uh, infrared receiver and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and this right here is actually a uh, power switch and then behind it is a microphone and then reset that white switch right there and this is the GPIO pins. It's got VGA and it supports up to 1080p but one of the features that I like and what I preach about quite a bit is, is the HDMI 2.0 I think that's a really good feature the bandwidth is extreme uh, compared to 1.4 so I, that's, that makes this board stand out. Um, it also has optical audio, gigabit ethernet, and then the barrel connector for 5 volts, 2.5 amp uh, DC. And just on the back, just so you can see it, it has a um, MIPI uh, for the MIPI camera. So it has MIPI uh, ribbon cable support. Uh, th this is what it came with. The box was actually pretty nice uh, and it gave you the specs and told you everything about it, which was real nice. This is the uh, the case that it comes with. So it's got a little standoff case. So that's that's nice. So if you needed to put it in your media center uh, in your living room, you could do that without touching the board. Um, so here's the antenna and then the power connector. So this is the power adapter. And on the on the power adapter, it does say five volts, two point five amps. Um, and it's just a little American flip up connector. The cord. And then uh, I'll take you to the screen and show you what the rest of the software looks like and how they've customized the, the Android image um, that I'm running. So here we go. Okay, I just thought I'd show you what the case looks like installed. So this looks like something that would be okay with being in your living room just fine. All the GPIO pins are exposed if you wanted to do that. I also am using an ultra thin HDMI cable single direction. Seems to work on the USB 2.0 port successfully. Gigabit works fine. Uh, the SMC connector is exposed so the antenna goes on successfully with the case on there. And I've got a mouse and keyboard plugged in. I will show you what their image looks like now and take you to the screen. Okay, so here's Netflix playing. Uh, this is uh, just a short clip from House of Cards. The resolution is extremely nice. It's very fast. So it's Netflix. So I got out of Netflix. I'll go home. I'm going to go into Launcher 3. The interface is faster than most board, or faster than any board actually I've seen. Settings are straightforward. That was Netflix. Netflix loads extremely fast. And I use their application installer, like I said before. They have an ITV launcher, but it's uh, it's in English. But uh, this all links to Chinese, so. And going in the settings, you can't really change it. And we're more used to uh, XBMC or something like that, so I'm sure you can get that get that installed on a Linux distribution. Application installer, apps, um, gallery, and then they have a remote control software. The Play Store didn't actually work when I installed it, so I'm not really sure if Google's actually checking to see if uh, this is a registered device uh, with a proper dev key or something like that. Um, I, I'll probably install a Linux distribution on it and see what the current Linux distribution, how it functions, if it det the kernel detects 802.11ac and, and if the graphics drivers are up to par. 
But okay, alright guys, um, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Also, uh, check out my other Linux board videos. Uh, also, check out my Facebook group, Linux Development Boards, or my subreddit, Linux Boards. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And have a good day, guys. Take care.